Here in the Chicago area, volunteers are ready to help those affected by this storm. WGN's Dana Rebick is live with that part of the story this afternoon. Dana. Well, there are multiple agencies here in Chicago jumping into action, deploying teams down to Florida, including Team Rubicon. It is made up of mostly veterans and former first responders working out of the building behind me. As Floridians begin to deal with the destruction Hurricane Ian left in its wake, teams here in Chicago have been working around the clock to help them. We have two of our route clearance teams in North Florida, uh, and then we have five of our recon teams out in Central Florida, basically kind of where the, the hurricane landed. So we had Manatee County, DeSoto County, um, Hillsborough County. Team Rubicon, based out of an old firehouse in Chicago's Westtown neighborhood, has 40 people on two teams coordinating relief effort in Florida and communicating with crews also on the ground in Puerto Rico. For the last several days um, and week, we were preparing and prepositioning supplies and people um, all over Florida. Well, Hurricane Fiona, it, it did cause some destruction, a lot of flooding, a lot of homes being damaged. So they're still, they're also doing the co op. So they're doing a lot of route clearance, they're doing a lot of uh, debris removal, and also inside the home cleanups. The Red Cross in Chicago sending truckloads of blankets, comfort kits, food, water, and other disaster relief supplies, reporting there are currently 13 thousand people in shelters in Florida. We know that this is going to be months of a response for the American Red Cross and people are going to need our help throughout the holidays. So we expect hundreds of volunteers from the Illinois region to continue to head toward the East Coast. Also pitching in the Anti-Cruelty Society in Chicago, which is preparing for the arrival of 35 animals from a shelter there. Especially because this storm had such a wide berth over the state of Florida, there's going to be a lot of movement now of these animals out of Florida so that the Florida shelters can focus on um, the post-disaster cleanup and support and uh, response. With storm surges exceeding 12 feet and many coastal areas most heavily hit still underwater, it may take some time for volunteers to get to residents who rode out the storm. Naples is flooded. I mean, you have water coming up to four feet high, so we can't maneuver through that, which is, we're impatient because we want to get in there and help, but we have to make sure all that stuff is removed. Once that's all removed, we go in and we do our work. MedCall Healthcare out of Chicago is also sending nurses down to Florida and Mabus, that is the mutual aid box alarm system comprised of fire departments across Illinois. They are on standby waiting for the alert to send crews to help relieve local firefighters in Florida. Live in West Town, Dana Rebic, WGN News. They're going to need a lot of help. Yeah. Thank you, Dana. And if you want to help those victims, we have partnered with our sister station, WFLA in Tampa, to gather donations for Red Cross cross relief efforts in Ian's aftermath. You can scan the code you see there, the QR code with your phone to be routed directly to our Red Cross donation page.